Hi, this is Gary DeBach in Puyallup, Washington, USA, and doing some brief testing here in the cold and frozen Puyallup, Washington, of these uh, three portables, including the brand new uh, SR286 model, which um, quite astonishingly has shown itself to be the most sensitive medium wave portable in ultralight size on the uh, testing I've done this afternoon so far. Uh, the astonishing thing about this is that it does this on the stock whip antenna, uh, not a loop stick, although it does have a loop stick, uh, as I'll explain in a second. Uh, previously, the most sensitive medium wave model in a, well, similar to ultralight size was the XH Data D808. And I've also tested uh, the new portable S R286 against the CC Skywave. The new um, SR286 with the whip antenna can clearly beat out both of these in extremely weak signal fringe reception. Right now I have 530 TIS station about 20 miles north of here at 10 watts. Uh, on the whip antenna, as you can hear, the SR286 does pull this in. Not exactly the strong level, but much stronger than the other two uh, portables. Now on the loop stick, the SR286 has uh, fairly good performance. It's about similar to the CC Skywave on loop stick reception, but it will get beat out by the XH Data D808 on the loop stick but not on the whip. Um, you, you'll see a 5-inch FSL antenna off to the left. One more amazing thing I've discovered this afternoon is the new SR286 couples up extremely well to an FSL antenna with a great combination of audio fidelity and sensitivity, as I'll demonstrate here. So right now I have the 286 on the whip antenna. The procedure for switching to the internal loop stick is a little bit tricky. I'll demonstrate here. First of all, you might as well put the whip down because you're not going to be needing it. Okay, to switch over to the loop stick, here's the tricky part. You need to press the AM button and the page button exactly at the same time for two seconds. If it's not exactly simultaneous, it, it won't do anything. So here we go. I'll try it in the frozen backyard. And I was able to do it. You see it has antenna, antenna internal. It showed uh, briefly for about one second. Now I'm going to try to receive that fringe station on 530 with the loop stick alone. It's just barely there, not like it was on the whip. But watch what happens when I go up to the FSL antenna here. And, of course, I have to move this in and out to get the best coupling distance. That's Seattle Tacoma International Airport, by the way, about 20 miles north of here at 10 watts. Extremely sharp tuning on the FSL.
Now, the, the narrowest bandwidth on the SR286 is 3 kilohertz. I've set the CC Skywave on the same 3 kilohertz. Let's see how this couples up on 530. Turn down the SR286 here and turn up the Skywave. Okay, I've got it coupled the best I can to the FSL, and it sounds pretty nasty. I'll try moving it in and out. My own opinion, this is uh, not in the same league as the SR286 and inductive coupling to the FSL. I'll tell you, the, I'll show you the difference once again. So there you have it, totally different league in uh, both audio and inductive, inductive coupling uh, performance. So this is great news for those of you with an SR286 and an FSL. I'll have to get used to this performance. Uh, the Skywave is the one I've taken out to ocean beaches up till now and uh, it's going to be a pleasant surprise to hear TPDX with this great audio quality. Assuming that the 3 kilohertz bandwidth, of course, can uh, keep the splatter at bay. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.